I just returned from Cuba four days ago. I had the privilege of going on the mission trip to teach young seminary students, young men who are preparing to be pastors. And I taught them an entire semester in one week. So we did a lot of work and it was such a wonderful time. And I just want to share a few principles about going on mission trips that perhaps will encourage you to consider it yourself. We're very blessed to have uh, here at St. Luke's the opportunity for our employer to participate financially in these endeavors. And so uh, I'd encourage you to take advantage of that. The first principle that I find is that uh, you go to give. The teaching that I did in Cuba, uh, there was no air conditioning, it was very warm, and in one sense it was exhausting, but I can't think of anything more satisfying. So you go to give. And the second principle is that it's the people. The people you meet there, they will just be impressed on your heart for the rest of your life. Uh, to have the opportunity to help them and I believe that the next principle is true that you can make lifelong impressions upon the people you go to help that they will remember you and it'll be very meaningful in their life now another principle is to take care of yourself uh, what you eat and drink uh, but that being said enjoy the culture as much as you can uh, I love going to the cafes and eating the Cuban food and it was just delicious. I didn't go to the touristy places but to the uh, where the people go and uh, it's just hard to express uh, the joy and satisfaction of sitting there and just interacting with the people. Uh, they make you feel very welcome, uh, very appreciated and loved. So I think that's a very common experience in these opportunities for mission trips. And I would say to go with a, a reputable agency or a mission that's done it before. But in light of that, remember that your own interaction is the key. So you can do it. Now I don't speak Spanish, but I was able to go with a group that had a translator for me. Uh, their group is called SRL. A reformed seminary in Latin America and I also took Google Translate so I would type in what I wanted to say I would show it to my friends and they got it instantly so I felt so comfortable uh, you can do it and you'll find it very satisfying we're so thankful for God's blessing on us to have these privileges thank you